take your nice dirty carboy for about four or five cups of water into it. Add your favorite cleaner, in this case it's OxyClean. Man, that's a dirty, dirty carboy. Carboy. These pads are in there tight. That's one thing I like about it, but then again, it makes it a really good tight fit coming out. All I need to do now is just rinse that carboy, and it's done. I'll be back after rinsing it. All right, so there we are. This is uh, the carboy after running it uh, with the carboy cleaner and just taking it and rinsing it out. I did take a paper towel and dry off the outside of it just to get some of the smudges off the outside. But that uh, the carboy cleaner works great if you have never uh, used one. You you won't be disappointed using a the L brush that everybody else uses. That thing is horrible. You cannot get your carboy as clean. This thing is sparkling clean. It took about two minutes to do it, um, as opposed to soaking it overnight with OxyClean when having a full carboy you have to deal with. This I had, you know, maybe a gallon of of, uh, of water in there, if that, with some uh, OxyClean, you know, OxyClean for my cleaner. Use whatever cleaner you want, and uh, yeah, it uh, it cleans it. It cleans it really good. Cleans it really quick. It's not as heavy, it's not as dangerous to pick up a glass carboy. This works great for the plastic better bottles as well. Um, matter of fact, I will be replacing my glass ones with better bottles uh, shortly. One of my uh, first carboys has developed some stress cracks, so I might as well replace all of them. Anyhow, that's the uh, clean carboy. After using the carboy cleaner from carboycleaner.com, you can pick one up at brewmasterswarehouse.com or any of the other retailers that are listed on the carboy cleaner website. Hope you enjoyed.